Hey, this is Val Peter for Artist Unknown, an introspective web series that brings you the stories behind the amazing artists of Toronto. I'm here at the Super Wonder Gallery at 876 Bloor Street West at the Super Duper Show. Now that's a whole lot of super going on. Well, it's a super theme based on superheroes and super villains, inspiring super artists to create super works of art. And the beauty of it all is that it's all superbly for sale. So let's go and take a look and see what super creations these super artists have come up with. Francisco and this is Andrew and we are Toy Bacon, a tasty take on toys. Uh, what we've donated today at uh, the Super uh, Wonder Gallery is our Civil War collection uh, inspired by Marvel and DC collections. So pretty much the Civil War movie is going to be coming out in the next few weeks uh, and we really want to pull away some of the iconic shots from the uh, Civil War graphic novel as well as take a little spin on some of the um, personal touches that we have. So again Andrew's really big into the uh, art, uh, classic rock type of style music. So we got the Kiss Girls up here with the guys on stage and then I have a little bit more of a hip hop player, so we got a little bit of a b-boy and crip walking kind of uh, situation going on over here. It sure is quiet tonight, almost too quiet. At least it was. It's the Museum of Art. Seems we have an over enthusiastic art.
my super idea is the idea around the secret identity. I've always been kind of fascinated with it. Mr. Hyde being my secret identity and superheroes being real people who put on mysterious masks and costumes and go out into the world and express themselves there fighting crime. I don't know, we're all kind of a little bit like that in our own private lives. We've all got the persona we put on when we go out in the world. We've all got the self we keep to ourselves, our secret identity. And that's kind of what inspired my particular piece. So it's kind of a self-portrait, the two me's. My name is Captain Zeno, and I am conjuring the power of the Super Wonder Force! Hmm. <sighs> I'm uh, Captain Zeno, first Ronaldo. I'm the, uh, the captain of the Super Wonder Force. Anyways, I decided to build this, um, my mini metropolis because we've um, been doing all kinds of crazy photo shoots, like uh, stuff inspired by, you know, Godzilla or Johnny Sock on his flying robot or um, Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. And so uh, we did all kinds of little movie shoots in here. And, um, and you're going to see a lot of that stuff flying around on, uh, on YouTube and, um, and on Facebook. I, uh, let's go outside for a second. I'm going to show you one of the finished products that derived from this project. Come with me. So the whole reason why I built the uh, the city was so that we could create wonderful products like this. Uh, this shot is done by uh, Don Galvin. Don, no, not Don Quincy. Don Quincy. Don Quincy. And uh, this is uh, Vanessa Vivi. She goes by Vivi. She's a model. And um, a lot of great, exciting uh, post work on that. And uh, the product is this doweled scroll. So we did a we did a whole bunch of different models, and uh, we shot some um, Godzilla type you know, movies and stuff. And so you'll be seeing them go up on uh, on the internet very soon. Pretty fun stuff. A lot of special effects and lasers and explosions and fire. All units proceed to your post assignment. All units proceed to your post assignment. beyond belief until others, too, faced its hideous, uncontrollable menace. Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, incredibly huge. and I'm a mixed media, multi-textual artist. The medium that I use is a reclaimed sheetrock, which is the drywall material that your wall is made out of. 
And what I would do is peel the paper off and then bas relief, carve the artwork back in layers at a time, apply the color, and then I put on it a, the, uh, an acrylic epoxy resin to seal the artwork in. My inspiration in doing these pieces as I reflect on uh, a child, 1966, I was six years old, and I used to watch the old Batman series uh, in front of the television set with my bowl of Cheerios. And I used to get a kick out of the fight scenes when they were in the fight with the Joker or any of the villains. And these words would just pop up and it was very inspirational to me and I felt it was a good fit for this show that we have going on right now. can have mine! <coughs> oh! Red! I'm a pop culture and portrait and nerdy and horror painter and this is my painting which is also a self-portrait. That's my face. Uh, it's called Batman Fan Number One because as we know Joker is super super in love with Batman. Uh, the painting came about when I was at Comic-Con uh, about a month ago and a photographer saw me in Joker costume, asked me if he could take a picture and the picture turned out looking so good that I knew I just had to paint it. So that's what I did and that's it right there. And now, people of Gotham City, the moment you have all been waiting for. <laughs> the grand up from the depths of the sea on a tidal wave of terror to wreak vengeance on mankind. Godzilla, king of the monsters. It's alive. A gigantic beast.
picture here. Uh, the reason I came up with this, uh, I wanted something larger in life because it is a super duper show. So, um, as I was doing the editing of it, uh, well, Christian, I mean, he built this crazy city and he wanted the attack of the 50 foot woman. Um, so when I was doing my post, the straight up shot was just very straight up. So I wanted to add to it and create the actual um, attack. I love the look in her face and that sort of inspired me. She kind of has this look of like, yeah, what do you got for me next? Um, you know, this little piddly helicopter is doing nothing. And she just kind of has this look of, you know, what do you got for me? Um, and you know, so I you know, used some fire Photoshop and added some fire, added the helicopter, added the rain, and uh, just made it unique for the show. So, yeah. Hey, this is Val Peter for Artist Unknown, the heart behind the art, entering the mind of Toronto artists, one artist at a time.